Hey, it's uh, Benjamin Blue again. Uh, so this is a tutorial on how to make a gun in Starship Beaver. So I'll try my best to go through it. I'm not really good at tutorials. And, you know, I'm going without a script. So never really wrote one before. And, you know, just can't be bothered, I guess. Anyway, that's besides the point. So here we have a few guns that I've made. Uh, slapped together probably 10 minutes ago. Uh, so this one is just the basic one without any add-ons. And so we'll just have a quick look. And so this one... You can get about two shots before it runs out of charge. Uh, it doesn't overheat, as you can see down in the bottom left corner. And then with the beam weapon, there we go. Yeah, so you can get... It's not too bad, you know, not too bad. Uh, you can improve it, however. Um, so these ones, uh, this is the overheat add-on. And so what that does, I'll just read it out. Uh, get out of that. Uh, so that one increases the heat damage and damage made... A lot of damage made to shields, sorry. Uh, so that one, I'm assuming, just is better at like taking down shields, I guess. I uh, don't know, I think that's the closest ship with the shield, so I'll just... You know, I don't know if that's actually going to do anything to it, because it's a massive ship and this is a tiny gun, but... Basically, um, that one builds up heat quicker, because it's adding heat to like the shot, I guess you could say. And so that, you know, breaks down shields much more, like, efficiently. So I guess that'd be good for turrets on ships, but uh, not so much little weapons like that. Uh, this one is the, I uh, just have to quickly read it, the charge add-on, and that increases the charge capacity to fire longer or larger shots. So I still haven't really noticed the difference with this, because um, as far as I know, it's pretty much the same as this. I'll just come here. So this is the normal one with that add-on. So you get two slow shots out of that, and then this one is the one with the add-on. So you just get, like, one shot out of that, even. Um, but I guess that makes the shot, what more larger or like powerful maybe even um increases the charge capacity i don't know what that would do, uh that would do sorry to be honest um i don't really see it being beneficial if you're creating a gun like uh in starship evo so we'll just move to the next one now this is a beneficial one like i reckon this add-on uh it's not in the add-on section when you come down to weapons it is actually up here and that is the reactor small with the small capacitor so it's put on this side over here just to get out of the uh add-on way but um so i've got four reactors i just dragged it along here and added one capacitor each on the each like slot and so this one this one really it does improve a gun, so you'll notice. Uh, so with the first one, you get two shots. I'll just do another comparison. Oh, there we go. So this is the uh, one without the add-on. So two slow shots. And then this one, you'll get a good five slow shots before it overheats. So with the um, reactor on that here, uh, so with that one, you can probably have, like, less reactors, you don't even, like, you probably even have one with the one capacitor, and you should still be able to fire a good amount of shots before it overheated, because as you can see, oh, get out of that, you have plenty of charge left before it even overheats, so, I guess I did go overkill on that one with the, uh, reactor, and so this is just the end result, um, sort of, of what I thought might be, uh, like, efficient with add-ons and, like, adding everything in the slots. Not a pretty gun, you know, but, we'll just have a look here, so... That one, I'm assuming, is making the shots, like, uh, further, like, shoot further and all that, like, increasing the range. Um, but, however, it's not very good. So, that's, I don't know what's going on with that one, to be honest. Right now, I'm going to try to create a good gun that would be good for, like, you know, sort of infantry. Not ships, but, like, you know, if you're playing online and a person comes across, or, like, eventually in an update, if they add, like, uh, AIs that run at you with guns, you know, this is the sort of gun that you're going to want to have out to, uh, shoot them. So, I'm just going to... I'm gonna copy the same style I've done over there, and so we'll just get this one going. Um, so we've got the handle down there, so we'll just go here. So I like to do this just to give it a bit of um, back, sort of, like, I don't know what you'd say. Um, like, I guess, like, just to have it back, like a sort of buttstock, you could say. Uh, so we'll go laser weapon, because I reckon that would be good against infantry... And then a beam weapon on top, so then you can go here and just put that there. And then a beam weapon, just like a, make it a little bit smaller, just like the uh, other one I've done over here. But this time I'm going to make it extend out to the same sort of uh, area as the other one. So, okay, there we go. So you just click and drag, and so that keeps it like the one entity for the weapon system. 
because if you have like if you for example just click it like that um that counts as two and so when you link up a handle to one of them it won't really take into account like consideration whatever take in account sorry <laughs> of the second one so remember just drag that one out and then here I'm just going to remove that because that doesn't make it look pretty and I'm going to add this curve piece and put that there and then put this curve piece here and this sort of gives me like an alien weapon vibe you know and so there you go there's that and then since the beam weapon does not need a barrel uh, we can just go ahead and put a barrel on the bottom one so this Gatling gun okay this is where I'm going to toss up between should I should I make it more rapid or should I make it more precise well, if it's like going to be infantry, it's going to be like a mid to close range. I'm not looking for a far thing, so I'll just add a little, little tiny um, thing going on there. And then we'll just add a second handle for the top one. And this time I'm going to put it on the side here. I reckon that could be interesting. And so that's pretty much that done. Uh, I'm going to want to add one of those small reactors though, so... I'm not sure where I should put that. I reckon... You know what? I reckon that could go on the top. So... I could put something cool going on there. I'm just going to activate the jetpack just to fly around it and make it easier to come around. Actually, you know what? That reactor would look very strange, but nice under here, I reckon. And with the capacitor there. There we go. And there we go. So that is that pretty much done. Uh, I'm happy with that. And so now it's just time to link up the handles. So the bottom one, which would be the first left click because that was the first one placed that will be there and then the second one will be for the beam weapon and there we go so that's that weapon done uh, as you can see pretty similar to that one I like having this curve thing on the bottom at the end here it gives it like a nice alien vibe and because the character I had before was an alien you know just suited you know just it went really well oh really well sorry I don't know what that was then sorry uh, so to save this so once you create a cool weapon uh, you're probably gonna want to save it right so once you create it, like straight after you create it, you should just be able to press tab and then here, um, at the moment there is no picture, I'm sure that'll fix that in an update, but it'll just, it should come up automatically. Um, if it isn't, I'm not sure what's going on, uh, try and rebuild it and, you know, see if it comes up. So, uh, you can go ahead and name it, I'm just going to call it the, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it actually. You know what, that, that'll do. And then just go ahead and export to local blueprint. And now if you want to reload it, all you got to do is basically uh, just place down an item spawner, press F on that, and then it'll come up here. See, uh, before I accidentally saved it twice, one is new entity and a multi-assault weapon. Um, so, there you go, and that's how you bring it up, and so now you have a, pretty much a duplicate of that, and that's how you save and bring it up. So now, with that out of the way, uh, I'm just going to test it and see if, you know, it's uh, good. So, yeah, that's not bad. Um, It's sort of balanced with the uh, overheating so like it'll overheat before it really runs out of charge so and then you just gotta wait for it to uh, lose its heat and there we go nice beam weapon and I really gotta find a way to fix that uh, heating thing because it'd be nice to have a weapon that would just keep going but uh that's pretty much it for the uh, weapon uh, creating tutorial so I'd just like to thank you for watching um, and sticking around because you know this is really the first time I've done this and like creating a tutorial and yeah so hope you enjoyed it